Hi again. Aloha. So, uh, ooh, drop frames detected. No, I'm not getting any drop frames. Shut up, XSplit. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're drunk, XSplit. XSplit, go drunk. You're home. <laughs> it, you know why? You know why? It, it's probably... See, what happened was, like, it, it couldn't comprehend the fact that you saved the stream. So, <laughs> so it was like, Clement, I love you. I'm, I'm dropping frames for you. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening was Nintendo-a-thon has a virus, and then I oh, came God. in and I threw my capsule on it, and the capsule destroyed the virus, and now we're going to save some people's lives as Dr. Mario. <laughs> Dr. Clements. <laughs> I'm a doctor! I got a medical <laughs> license and everything! It's, it's true! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what are you talking about? I went to medical school, mamma mia! <laughs> But yeah, like, uh, how is the audio balance, guys? Because I, I want to know how uh, the game's running, how the, uh, well, probably how I had the game shown, wouldn't it? Uh, how the game's running, how Clement's sounding, how I'm sounding, you know, how's everything going here, guys? Yes, yeah, so is everything good? Testing, testing, I am talking. How's that, ladies and gentlemen? Sounded good from the first few seconds I heard myself uh, listening back to it. But see, here's the thing: you hearing yourself is nothing compared to what what I would have had to go through. <laughs> uh, everyone says it's good. Okay, I really wish someone like Flame or Tom were on to tell me for sure how things are because at this point I'm absolutely like, oh no, there's there's mods on. Um, okay, if we're all good to go, then I'm gonna go, go ahead and run the bumper. I'm crossing my fingers that this went well. <laughs> oh, we didn't start. <laughs> Damn it. We didn't. We're not starting just yet. Like I have to run the bumper first, then we start. <laughs> okay. I may have to run it a second time because it will probably skip. But that's at least my concerns right now. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna go play the bumper real quick. It'll also help if I rebooted the game. By the way, emulator. Who gives a shit though? <laughs> All right. All right. Let me play the bumper real quick. Hey, they're skipping. Okay, let's try that again. Alrighty. Okay, gotta get, give it a bit for it to actually finish. Okay, let's do this again. Three, two, one. Fuck the setup for the stream. Hi guys, how you guys doing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Uh, I'm here with the great Clement for Dr. Mario. Fuck the setup for this stream. Uh, <laughs> it took a while for us to get this one started, but now it's underway. Uh, I may as well go ahead and explain things as I'm getting going. Uh, by the way, Clement, do you have a link to the uh, donations to read? Uh, no, you should probably link that to me in the Skype. Um, I hope someone is on hand. Let me quickly do that. If, okay. I may then have to go ahead and quickly... Do the run again, again. So. <laughs> Restart again. <laughs> oh, crap. I have to, I, this is a bad time for me to close my Firefox. Yeah, definitely going to have to redo the run again. Uh, okay. <laughs> what a stream. What a Bear stream, with us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bear with us. <laughs> oh, boy. Tom's going to kick my ass at the rate this is going. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I couldn't help it, though. What can I say? It could have been a lot yeah, worse. No commentators. What are you gonna do? Yeah. There you go. You should have the link now. So. Alrighty. And I'll refresh it every five or ten minutes to let you know if people are donating. And people should be donating yeah. because it's for a good cause. Uh, and yeah. That and may as well have mercy for me and Clement because of all the hell we've gone through just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really donate to a good cause. Cause that's the important thing. Also, I should probably close Wayne out because that joke's done. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let me think. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's do this again, shall we? <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. Yes. I, I greatly apologize, guys, for all this. Okay, let's do this again. All right. <laughs> Fuck the fucking set up for this fucking stream. Hi guys, how are you doing? Help me. <laughs> Help me.
help me, please? <laughs> it's okay, Donnie. I'm here with you. <laughs> So guys, uh, how you guys doing? Uh, I have the great, great Clement here with me because, oh boy, it's a long story. Um, so, unfortunately, um, and this is Dr. Mario, that's not the bad thing. Um, unfortunately guys, we did have quite a bit of setbacks trying to get the stream going. Uh, <laughs> that may be an understatement, but uh, unfortunately DKC2, as of this recording, I don't know if we're actually going to be like a... Uh, redoing it or what yet um, because it literally just happened like 20-30 minutes ago that's how long it has taken for this stream to start up um, but unfortunately Mia had to cancel uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 at the end she got uh, interrupted because her parents unplugged her internet and I spent a good 20-30 minutes trying to find a co-commentator because she was the co-commentator um, who was going to who volunteered after Mexi had to uh, depart uh, because of lateness and all that, and things have not exactly been the greatest on his end um, in terms of health and all. So I spent a good 23 minutes trying to find a co-commentator. I'm, I'm explaining all this just for backdrop so people know what the hell was going on, because uh, I don't think uh, DKC2 is gonna be uploaded. Uh, the one we have that was recorded tonight. Um, I don't know yet. I honestly don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Clement, help me. <laughs> what's going on is that we are now playing a classic puzzle game from Nintendo. This is, of course, Dr. Mario, where apparently Mario is a trained physician. Yes. Apparently he got his medical license. Apparently he is qualified to take out viruses with his magical mystery pills. I don't know what's in those pills. I don't know why he doesn't make a better pill that would just, like flush out all three viruses, but no, he wants to make it a game. He wants to throw pills in a bottle and kill the yellow, red, blue guys in a very specific way, I guess. I don't know how Mushroom Kingdom science works, but uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to try to question it, because at this point, it's, it's Mario. That's what it boils down to. Hey guys, it's Mario. Look at this Mario guy. <laughs> He, he makes a great position, doesn't he? That's Just once, it. I would like I would like like a Doctor Mario game to be like, oh, Bowser is sick, and you have to cure him. But if you don't, then the Mushroom Kingdom will be safe forever. The yep. paradox. What are you gonna do, Mario? What are you gonna do? Yep. Also, this song's quite fantastic when you clear stage. It's just dun 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> so happy together. <laughs> I can't see me matching nobody but you inside this jar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what background music did you go with? Did you go with Fever or Chill? I believe I went with Fever. I've lost track. I completely lost track of what I was picking. I just went with whatever. Because that... Fever is the classic theme you always associate with Dr. Mario. Chill's very... Well, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing what was eventually remixed in Melee, so... Da -na -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Like yeah, that. yeah. That's Fever. Yeah. So I, I guess when you have a disease, it's musical. Yes. <laughs> like, in, in the future games with, like, Dr. Luigi and uh, Dr. Mario 64 and stuff, they also got, like, other conditions that are also named after some kind of symptoms, so... Yeah. I guess Mario just puts a stethoscope to the bottle and he, he hears Fever... And he goes, oh, you must have a fever. Ah, I know how to cure that. <laughs> well, at least on the plus side, uh, it's only going to go for an hour along with what game will be happening uh, after this. So uh, let me know when we're actually an hour done. Uh, with this Alrighty. Game. That way I'll know when to end it. <laughs> I know that's going to be a difficult task considering how disorganized we are after what's happened the past half hour, but... <laughs> I will know by 11.12. 11.12, I believe, is when we... Or 10.12 is when we started. So 11.12, I'll give you the signal. Okay. Bear in mind, guys, he's in a different time zone. So. Yes, I am Canadian, and I am in Ontario, and that's as far as I'm telling you. He's almost Scott Pilgrim. I, I, I will be Scott Pilgrim, damn it. I know, because <laughs> I know you said... I remember seeing that you were going to be Scott Pilgrim in a convention coming up. Cosplay. Oh, yeah. In two weeks, I'm going to Fan Expo in Toronto, 
And uh, I, I got an entire Scott Pilgrim getup just for that. I'm going to be cosplaying as Scott Pilgrim. So uh, pretty much the same outfit he had on during the final battle of the movie with Gideon Graves. The green Smashing Pumpkins shirt, the oh, wristbands, God. the white shoes. I'm going as that when I go to Fan Expo. So if you're going to Fan Expo t uh, sometime, look out for a Scott Pilgrim and you will see me. <laughs> you, pr you probably won't see Ramona, though. That's Eggman in this case. But, you know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I expect I expect every Ramona cosplayer to just flock to me, <laughs> and then it'll be it'll be love at first sight. Get a load of this. <laughs> Get a load of this, ladies. You know what they say: the more, the merrier. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, recently I've read the comics, so I know full well what the. Uh jokes are now it feels oh, amazing good. like i read them just i think it was like a month or two ago so mm -hmm. god they're fucking amazing yeah they go in a little bit of a different direction than the movies do like there's a lot of uh, middle stuff that deviates from the film quite a bit uh, the books were first obviously the books came yeah. then the movie then the video game well, of the movie <laughs> well, well to be fair i read that the books actually the last book came back came out after like the movie or so yeah but they they, were they being... They were being written around the same time, so... Yeah. Well, I, I can't finish the level guy, uh, TJ, because unfortunately... I kind of have to match those... You see these, uh... Oh, now I'm going to have an even tough time matching this, because I fucked up. But, uh... You, you can't really finish the level normally, like... Clearing out everything. You have to finish those, uh... Movable viruses and clear them out, and only then can you complete the level. Which, unfortunately, I'm not exactly having an easy time doing, so... Movable viruses? Oh my god. This is the NES game, right? Yeah, it's the NES. Oh. Okay, game, I, I thought I, that was like a new feature or something. I don't play Dr. Mario enough, clearly. I had three along the bottom, did I? Oh well. I'm only going for half an hour anyway, guys. Or an hour. Whatever. An hour. I don't know anymore. Come and save me. <laughs> I will try my best. There we go. I got it. Also, remember, people, we are don't, we are doing this for a charity. This is what this is all about. And so, everyone watching, feel free to donate some money. I know we've been going for... Well, they've been going. I'm just a guest. Uh, <laughs> they've been going for at least two weeks now, and some people are running out of pocket change. But uh, every little bit helps, don't you know? And even though I don't... Do we, I don't know if we have any incentives or whatever, but... Uh, Not anymore. They've all been fulfilled now. Ah. Uh, like, Pokemon... But think of the children you could help. Yeah. Think of the children. Th think of the children. Bunny kind of sucks right now. Well, I'm sorry that I was on borrowed time, guys. <laughs> At least Clement's here to keep us sane, you know? Indubitably. Did you always... Fidget with the settings at all when you booted up the game? Did you go to like low speed, medium speed, or? I went with low speed. Okay, that works. Just so I, it helps me a bit better, because with the way the marathon's gone, I don't like taking any chances. <laughs> no, I understand that. Yeah. I, I suck at Dr. Mario when it comes to like high speed and stuff. Like medium, I could probably get to like the 15, 16 level, but like with. I can beat it on low, no problem, but with medium. It speeds up pretty badly at the end, and then I get massacred. Yeah. My puzzle game was always Tetris Attack slash Pokemon Puzzle League. Oh, it does say slash me. Puzzle League. Uh, what is the DS one? Puzzle League Universe? Puzzle League Planet? It's something like that, but that series is awesome. And in Japan, it's known as Panel de Pan. And in Panel de Pan, they have a pixie fairy girl as the hero, and she is named Lip. And Lip should be in Super Smash Brothers. Vote for Lip. Booyah. By the way, I just realized this, this game was blatantly telling me that the speed was medium. I'm so out of it. I'm so tired. But hey, whatever. Oh. <laughs> these aren't these aren't really going to be big runs anyway. Like I said, so no big deal. Whatever. Yep. It's not like you get some magical ending when you clear out level 20. Yep. Wait, there's only 20 levels in this game. Well, it goes on to 21 and beyond, but, like, you get the credits if you beat it on level 20. Oh. Yeah. 
I think of the way it works, and I could be wrong, the chat can correct me, but I believe the way it works is you can go on to 21 and go on to 22 and go on to 23, but as soon as you turn the game off, you can't go back to those on an individual level select. Like, it will always be like, you can go choose from 0 to 20, but you can go further. Hey, whatever works. But yeah, I saw, I saw someone saying in the chat that, unfortunately for the uh, Scott Pilgrim game, it was discontinued by uh, Ubisoft recently, so... Yeah, that sucks. It was a good game, too. It was! It, it, it was one of the few beat-em-ups where they had, like, dodge rolls and counters, and, and the, the sprite work was amazing. It's done by this guy named uh, Paul Robertson, and the sprite work is amazing. And the music was done by Anamanaguchi, which is this oh, amazing yeah. chiptune band. So, like, you had amazing music, you had amazing visuals, the combat was super satisfying, and it happened to be referencing a whole ton of video games because it was Scott Pilgrim and stuff, and it was one of the best beat-em-ups I've ever played. Like, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is incredible, and unfortunately, I don't believe it was released on Steam, I don't believe it was a PC game, I believe it was only Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. Yeah, it was. So now it's delisted and you can't get it on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live anymore. So anyone who missed out on that game, anyone who didn't download that game, uh, will never be able to play it. And that's blasphemy. Like Ubisoft needs to put that on a disc. You know, they gotta put that on a disc and, and ship it out to stores, because then people can own it forever. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like that that's the main flaw I hate about digital games, is that it's that capability just drop games from the market like that. Yeah. I hate that. I'd rather have an actual retail version of a game. Well, it's like, you gotta think, like, at some point, Mega Man 9, Mega Man 10, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1, Sonic 4, Episode 2, like, eventually those will be delisted. Like, eventually, one day, we won't be able to download those things. Yeah. It, it, it sucks. Like, I know Sega discontinued, um... I think it was like Afterburner HD or some kind of Sega fran. It was it was a Sega title that was on the marketplace. We like, no, it was Afterburner Climax. I think Afterburner Climax, and now that game's gone, and I can't download that either. So yeah, and and it seems like as far are people who did, were able to get download the game, like download the Scott Pilgrim game, are they able to play it still? Well, yeah, if you own it, you I can still boot up my 360 and play it, and. I, I believe it was delisted, but it wasn't actually, like, taken off the servers. So if you have purchased Scott Pilgrim before, if you go into your purchase history, you can re-download it again. Oh, okay. But the online servers uh, for downloading, like, playing online are probably down by now. I would assume. Eh, you never know. Eh. I mean, I, I fear... I think it was just, like, a license thing. Like, the like Marvel vs. Capcom 2... Um, is officially delisted as well on Xbox Live. You used to be able to get Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on Xbox Live, and now it's gone. And I was bummed by that at first because I had to do a video for the Misadventures of Tron Bond playthrough that I was working on. And Tron Bond was a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but I deleted it from my Xbox, although I had purchased it before. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I wanted to re-download it and show that off because I don't own a Dreamcast or PlayStation version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, but luckily a fan told me, like, no, Clement, it's still on the servers. It's delisted, but it's still on the servers, and you can re-download it if you've purchased it before. And sure enough, I went to the purchase history, and I could re-download Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so I could download that game again, but, uh, yeah. I don't know about Scott Pilgrim. I don't know if you can re-download that. I'm pretty sure it's still on the servers, but it's still delisted, which, yeah. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. This is a great game, too. Like, like after like after I read the the colored comics because that's what I actually read, I, I was able to find all the uh, comic versions of the comics of the colored. Uh -huh. And after I read those and was absolutely amazed at how well they were, how great they were, I went on. Yeah. I was on a Scott Pilgrim binge and just looked up the music, started re-listening to it, and I just, oh my god, the music for the game is amazing. <laughs> I would marry the music to this game. I would. It's a. Gr it, the soundtrack is amazing. I, I believe you. <laughs> and 
I just don't know how you would convince a priest to accept that marriage. Well, let's see. Do you, Donnie, take these seven evil ex songs to be, <laughs> <laughs> to be your lawfully wedded wives? Do you take Anamanaguchi into your life? <laughs> I do, Maganaguchi. <laughs> I do, Maganaguchi. Maganabubadedi. <laughs> Whatever. I've officially made comment tongue t uh, tied. I, I win. Oh, good news! We got two donations! Yay! The first donation is from Derek DTH. And he says, I'm glad to hear that we've reached the Nintendo-thon goal, and that Johnny will be playing Lost Sanity 2. Can you feel the sunshine? <laughs> and Donnie, I wish you luck with Pokemon Pinball, you pinball wizard. P.S. Clement is always watching. That I am. He is. You don't think I am, but I am. I'm always watching. Even when you think I'm not. Oh, I am. That's not creepy. <laughs> but, although in this case, it was actually very helpful, because... I really would have had to go solo if you weren't around. So. Yes. And our second donation is from the Rarest Spy, the Raspberry, the Rarest Spy. <laughs> the Rarest Spy. That would the be rarest. <laughs> the Raspberry. <laughs> <Ippy -tippy. laughs> Sorry, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm going to say Rarest Spy. <laughs> the Rarest Spy <laughs> says. I wasn't planning to donate anymore, but Clement's here now, and I feel like I owe it to the guy who introduced me to Brain Scratch and thus Hellfire Comms in the first place. Thanks, Clement. Rock on, guys. <laughs> I, we appreciate the donation. Oh, by the way, uh, Derek TTH, uh, he's, his donation was one pound. Uh, the rarest be, I don't know if I'm screwing that name up, but his donation was five pounds. So I just want to get that out there. Clement tries to pronounce the name while I play Mario Music. <laughs> there, there's your meme. Uh, I'm all screwed up from that Anamana Gucci. He's all Gucci'd up. <laughs> Can't handle all this Anamana Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this stream. <laughs> uh. What a weird stream for me to close off the Nintendo Fun. <laughs> I'm sucking royally at this game, but fuck it. Oh, that sucks. What, what level are you on currently? Level 5. Oh. <laughs> do you always... Here's what I always do. I always color coordinate where, like... If I get a red and blue pill, I try to aim for something that is blue. Like, I, I, I aim for the blue virus, but I want to make sure I, I position it in a way that, like... If there's something red next to the blue virus, I'll put it there, and then I'll just stack them and stack them and make sure nothing ever touches that stack. Like, I have a specific color-coded stacks that I will not let overlap, you know? Uh, like, if I see a yellow and red stack, yellow and red go there, nothing else. I don't want blue anywhere in, on it. Sp speaking of uh, stacks, I got stacked up and lost. <laughs> but unfortunately, you start from the level you were last at, so it's no big deal. Which is why the patient has a fever. <laughs> yeah, the patient has a fever. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. I've got a bad case of, uh, being bad. <laughs> <laughs> also, I would say that uh, if you're looking for a great Dr. Mario game, uh, I've always been partial to Dr. Dr. Mario 64. Not only did 64 have a dedicated story mode where Mario and Wario were chasing some weird scientist guy who stole Mario's mega vitamins, uh, there's actually four player multiplayer in Dr. Mario 64, and Dr. Mario RX for the Wii, Dr. Luigi for the Wii U, only two player multiplayer as far as I know. No story mode either, so what the heck? What the heck? Although Dr. Luigi does have the L mode, and that's a new way to play Dr. Mario, I suppose. Some people say it's easy. I don't know, it gets pretty hectic near the end, because when you gotta bend all these L-shaped pills everywhere, it gets crowded real quick. Yes, guys, you heard him right. He said you should bend your pills. <laughs> no, don't question it. I'm not gonna question it. After everything we've seen in this marathon so far, there is no, nothing worth questioning now. 
gotta bend your L's! <laughs> this is the weirdest Richard Simmons dive view I've ever heard. <laughs> and one, and two, and three, and four. No, Donnie, that's the Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> oh god. That makes it even worse, though, considering all the things. <laughs> that makes it even worse. <laughs> That just adds, oh, that adds fan service on top of this. No, we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get these visuals out of my head now. Oh god. What have you done, Clement? Do you have a fever, Donnie? No, I don't have a fever, but I have a feeling I'm going to have a fever after the stream is done. Do you have the chills? <laughs> Are you dizzy? <laughs> yes, I'm dizzy. I'm absolutely famished. I, I... Well, there's your problem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nothing like someone that's always watching telling you to push your pills and flip them in. <laughs> that... Yeah, this is weird. In Dr. Luigi, in, in, there's a lot of cutscenes every time you go to like a level 5 of something. Like, the, like a level 5, level 10, level 15, level 20. And in the cutscenes, it implies that like the viruses that Luigi's destroying are aliens, and they have their own UFO. <laughs> what kind of alien disease is Mario fighting, exactly? Um... Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> That's a very bad disease, to be fair. That, that sh never did get checked out, so... <laughs> it could and be... I've, got, I've got Daisy on the brain. I don't know how to get it off. You should, there, here we go, you should probably rescue her. Uh, there's, here's a game, it's called Super Mario Land, go ahead. <laughs> and, and then he was just like, oh, Daisy. <laughs> I'm a seeing Easter Island heads everywhere. I don't know what to do. <laughs> the, fun, the funny thing is that the whole like Super Mario Land stream that where I did play both games, both of them just basically amounts to, oh, Daisy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's, I was watching. <laughs> Of course you fucking were. God damn it, come on. I donated that one. That oh yeah, match. that's right. You did. I was always watching. Oh my god. <laughs> now, now I just imagine like, like Clement just standing like, ominously in the background, and he just leans forward so his face shows, and you just hear Gucci, Gucci, Goo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna do fan art of that now. What am I saying? No. I dem uh, yes, I demand fan art. That'd be amazing. Oh god. <laughs> and then he's gonna make that his new like avatar or something. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but I'll appreciate it none the same. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> sure. I, I always like looking creepy. <laughs> Wait, no I don't. Why did I say that? I take that back. <laughs> It's on stream now. It's it's saved for posterity. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like fan art now. <laughs> so and the other great thing about Doctor Mario sixty four, <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Mario sixty four, it doesn't creep you the fuck out. That's what is great about it. <laughs> it's not scary. No, but in story mode, you can play as Wario. Uh, like, you get, you get the choice of being either Dr. Mario or Wario. So apparently Wario is a trained, you know, medical scientist, too. Apparently he can treat fevers and stuff as well. He doesn't wear a lab coat in Dr. Mario 64, but, you know. Oh, I just thought it was interesting, in case people were wondering if <laughs> Wario had his medical license. I guess? Then again, he never showed it. No, he but, was... He, you know. he, he was too busy changing his, uh... Recovering from Mario having switched his castle back from Wumbo to Mini, so... <laughs> I'm a Wario, I'm a train doctor! <laughs> oh god, what did Hypercold do? He says, I'm sorry Donnie, and linked to a tweet. I can't see the tweet. Uh, let me check. Because I... I can. Yay. <laughs> oh, good. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a Photoshop of the Wii Fit Trainer. Only with your head on the Wii Fit Trainer's body. The female body, not the male body. I should stress that. God fucking uh, damn it. <laughs> and the, underneath it says, stretch those memes. God fucking damn it. 
So stretch those memes, Donnie. Stretch those memes. This is literally... Is this gonna be Banjo's movies all over again, but just with fucking castles or something? I'm not singing. <laughs> I'm not, Stu. I already sang during Hyrule Warriors. I'm not singing during this one. Did you really? Oh, yeah. I wasn't there for that, so... At the very end, uh, Ted was doing the cannon challenges, or the Sia challenges, and... It, Gareth was there, Derek was there, Catherine was there, and then they saw me in the chat and they said, Hey, come back, get in the, get in the stream! And I was like, alright, sure, why not? And then uh, at some point during that, uh, we we got requests to sing songs, but then we, we added it as an incentive for donations. And I was like, I will, do I will sing whatever if you donate money. And then someone donated money to have me sing the reboot song Everything is Alphanumeric from the very end of Season 3. And it was amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't fucking know. <laughs> there's nothing to say. This whole stream is just gonna be like, there's nothing to say. <laughs> the exact opposite of what I'm supposed to be doing. Actually, no, I, I take that back. I'm probably not... <laughs> Oh, sorry. I just I just went on Twitter and I saw another uh, notification. There's a there's a picture that's uh, just it's a it's a Photoshop of the box art for Dr. Mario. Only it's now it says Dr. Donnie. Uh, your face has been sh photoshopped onto Mario's. The red virus is Gareth. The yellow virus is Johnny, and the blue virus is me. And uh, the tagline is Dr. Donnie is coming and he's got the. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what? You want to be okay? I have a, I have a challenge for the chat. Here's something you can okay. do in your spare time: make an air horn remix of this track that's playing right now. A fever? Oh, that'd be amazing! <laughs> do it, and you'll get extra credit if you do chill as well. <laughs> I have no idea how I. Actually, you song. know what the best song in Dr. Mario is? The one that's always overlooked? Whenever you're in a two-player match and you win the match, there's this great theme that plays when you win a two-player match. And that theme is incredible. I don't know the name of it, but that would also be great as an air horn track. Well, what in the world was I doing? Wow. Uh, I nearly fucked that up. <laughs> you mixing the pills up? Uh... Not quite the way I think the game wants me to mix them up, but yes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> to think to think we're not even but thirty minutes in. Uh, puzzle games can do that to you. What a fucking way to end my involvement with the Nintendo thought. It's just... <laughs> hey, we're not even at the, the prime course, you know. You're gonna be unleashing your pinball skills all over Pokemon. But here's the thing. Pokemon, Pinball, Ruby, and Sapphire is actually easy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I can beat that without really... The thing is, you, you only lose... Like, you can only beat the game by uh, running out of balls. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can pretty much play your, your round in, 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 infinitely because it allows you to continue your game where you left off. So, so it's definitely easier than Mario Pinball. Yes, yeah, so on the basis that the save feature actually works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch all of Mario Pinball. I caught like the, t the, the last half or so. I didn't see the first half, but... Uh, Man, some of the things they made you do, some of those eight red coins they had to get you bouncing towards, I was just like, oh, this game's evil. And it's still 100%ed it. And I did it legitimately like, up until the last few stars, too, I might add. Hell yeah. The f only reason I had to start save stating was because Tom wanted me to. <laughs> <laughs> because he did not like... Wow, now I'm able to fit in a castle in a hole. Okay. Uh... Because the final few bosses, which were those final few stars, were actually really painful. But I'd done it before without using any save states. So I've seen your Meverse post on it. 
Yeah, I mean that was the proof. That was the proof I shared to show that I have 100 percent in it and know what I'm doing. But although now that I think about it, the Wii U Virtual Console has save states, so you might have you might have faked that. <laughs> Okay, I use it for the red coin missions, but I didn't do it for the other <laughs> stuff. That's fine. <laughs> Cause fuck the red coin. I d honestly did not. I, I redeemed myself with the red coin missions in the r in this run. So tell you what, I used the save states for the red coin missions on the Wii U, <laughs> but didn't do it for the boss. Here I used it for the boss, but didn't use it for the red coin missions. So guess what? It all checks out. Sure. I'm I'm completely pro. Like, comment, fave, and subscribe to SSF Pinballs. <laughs> um, on YouTube. No, not really. He's the people's champion. I'm the pinball champion. Because I'm the Link only one that likes the pinball. pinball champ. Yay. He goes full tilt, if you know what I mean. Gucci, Gucci, go <laughs> That's good. Full tilt is when you bend your L. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it helps that there's L in the in tilt too. <laughs> oh god. I'm never gonna think of pinball the same way again now. <laughs> I'm... I've gone too far. I've gone too far in a few places. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I don't use the tilt function because because uh, <laughs> it became mis it can be misinterpreted in so many ways. <laughs> I just, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore, man. I'm just wasted in my juice right now. I'll look at people a minute to think what that reference is. So Mario and Dr. Mario are the <laughs> same person, right? Uh, yes. Like, they, they have two separate Smash Brothers fighters, and I don't know if that's like just because they wanted to have Mario in his doctor's outfit but not be the same character. Or there is an alternate universe where Mario is not a plumber, but he is in fact a doctor. Uh, I think I read somewhere like the reason why Doctor Mario is a separate character is not because he's actually a separate character. It's that Sakurai thought that Doctor Mario, he he's so different compared to normal Mario that he felt it kind of deserved his own character, like playable character. Yeah, it's like I understood like uh, Young Link. Like that was just it was, it was a young Link. He was a little kid Link. Toon Link, eh, he's the anime Link. He's the cartoony Link. He's the silly Link. You know. But what if Doctor Mario is different? What if Doctor Mario is among us? <laughs> and we know who he is. It's Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Science rules. Bill, 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 no, the science guy. Inertia is a property of matter. <laughs> I recognize that intro so much. Like, I. Oh, God, that intro is my childhood. Uh, oh, yeah. I used to watch that all the time in middle school. Yeah, that's where I also heard a lot in. It was in, at school. It's like it's like we could have just like learned from like a some kind of uh, you know just other any kind of science kind of instruction video, but no, my teacher would literally play Bill Nye clips in class just because hey, Bill Nye's educational and it's also funny. Yeah. Also, I totally didn't just skip ahead a level on purpose because I had it unlocked, but you know, uh, you saw that nothing. That level was too slow. You're too slow. And then he just turns into an L and flips. <laughs> See, that's what Sega should have done. They should have capitalized on the Mario rivalry and introduced Dr. Sonic. Dr. Sonic. Well, to be fair, that can be done because Sonic's in Super Mario Maker now. Oh. -ho. It's like they knew. So what am I doing? <laughs> what What am I doing? What? Okay, there you go. Donnie, you cheated. Well, look at what they were doing earlier for DKC2. They were using, like, they knew all the answers to the quizzes and stuff, and... You're not, you're not one to talk, guys. <laughs> you don't know, man. Or did you get your medical license? No, I don't think so. 
Yeah, I'm a doctor. I have a bird, and his name is Archimedes, okay? Come at me, motherfucker. <laughs> bird me IRL. Don't actually, that sounds gross. Uh... Fact, real doctors are experts at Dr. Mario. That's just science. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, Dr. Phil? Amazing at Dr. Mario. He's so good. He made it to level 99. I think they're, I think it goes to level 99. Uh, oh god. I have no idea why people would go play this all the way to 99, but yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's like, have you ever seen those Tetris Grandmasters at uh, Awesome Games Done Quick? Uh, oh yeah. I saw the one uh, at SGDQ this year, and it was absolutely unbelievable. That's ridiculous! I cannot believe people play Tetris that quickly and they just know what they're doing. It's insane. I dare them to play Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it, you are a puzzle master at that game. I'd play a real man's game! A Robotnik Mean Bean Machine! The funny, the funny thing is everyone wants me to speedrun Spinball now. Like before, it was like no one wanted me to speedrun Spinball, but now everyone wants me to speedrun it. It's beautiful. I don't, I don't object one bit. Like, because I love Spinball, so I mean. Yeah. I'd marry Spinball. I'd divorce Amaguchi I'm I'm and go marry Spinball. <laughs> I'm Amaguchi's crying, Donnie. Why? I thought I was the one. Well, I was cheated on, and they called me a lesbian. They said I lesbian you instead of I love you, so... Um, ah. Yeah. Well, you and Spinball were meant to be, so... Yes. That's love. <laughs> what you had with Anamanaguchi was a fling. It was a fling. Just like... It's like, the, sec it's like the sex was great, but there was just no love in it. Scott Pilgrim in a nutshell. Oh no, I'm just. Kidding. Oh snap! <laughs> it's funny because a lot of the relationships in Scott Pilgrim just flings. Oh yeah, it, it, the whole arc of the whole movie and and the book is that you know Scott Pilgrim finds love. He doesn't love Knives Chow. He just he just likes having a girlfriend. But he learns what love is. Love, man. Love wins. But here's the thing, Clement. It's not love, it's lesbian. I thought Scott established this. <laughs> That's one of my favorite gags in that whole comic. He learns about lesbians. He becomes one with the lesbians. Yes. <laughs> lesbians win. <laughs> God, I love the comics so much. Like, have you actually read the all the colored versions of the comics? Oh, no, I, I own the original, like, black and white comics, but I don't own the the colored ones. I've, I've, I've been wanting to get that, though, because I imagine the art's amazing. The art is amazing. Um, the, and the best thing is, like, they make a joke about, uh, there's one joke about how it's, oh, it's, this, like, uh, they make a black and white colored joke about, I think it was about Ramona's hair, and they, oh, yeah. and they change it in the comics to reflect the fact that it's in color now. Also, I am doing very bad at oh. this game. That's actually that's actually really funny. Uh, they they make a note. Uh, you know, I may as well just start the level over again because I'm not going to finish this. Because uh, like in the original book, they make a comment like, "She changed her color. You'll have to roll with us." Because like it's in black and white, so you can't tell what color it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the note. The note. Become what it says in the in the colored version of the comics now, is it says this joke was better in black and white. <laughs> That's actually what it said. <laughs> yeah. But it is pretty cool to see the comments in black, uh, not black and white, but uh, colored, because you really, you really get a better idea as to what is going on. Because, like, for example, oh yeah, there's another thing about the colored versions. You actually get this, get all the bonus comics, like the, uh, the one with the ninjas coming out of the poster. The, the oh, yeah. Posters. Uh, that is actually included in the color version of one of the volumes now. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you basically get the whole deal of Scott Pilgrim now, and it's not just, you know, like, a, a one segment of this and all that. Got that part where, where Scott just wanted to go shopping, and, and he beats the fucking ninjas in. <laughs> and, and he couldn't figure out stuff in, uh, at the store at one point, and then he ends up, like, getting a coupon or something like that from the ninjas and stuff, and, stuff, and then he, and he ends up going back to the store again the second time. <laughs> That was so fucking funny. 
<laughs> uh, I think looks like we've got about uh, 20 minutes left. If people want to donate and they want to hear my sexy voice read their donation, get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Get to it. Oh, man. I know we're talking about Scott Pilgrim a lot, but we're big fans, so I mean... Oh yeah, it was. It's it's my favorite movie, and the video game was awesome. The books are great. Uh, pretty much everything out of that I loved. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things ever. Yep. No. Also, I, it really connected with me because, like, when the books came out, I was the same age as Scott Pilgrim, and I'm Canadian, <laughs> so. It almost felt like they were. It was written for me, so I kind of had that weird, you know, perspective on it. But yeah, yeah. Honestly, I I would highly recommend reading the comics before you read the movie and the uh, play the game, or you see the movie and read the game. Uh, play read the game. Well, you could do that. It's called YouTube, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, play the game. Boy, I'm out of it. Uh, because there are so many comic references to both that I think re if you read the comics, you'll get a full sense of what is going on. That's not to say that you won't understand what's going on anyway, but I think you'll appreciate the games and the uh, movie a lot more in that way. Mm -hmm. it, I just, I, I really do think the comics are the biggest, like, yeah, read the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <read. laughs> yeah, guys, you should read go the read movie. the movie. Just get somehow download download the movie script. <laughs> just read the movie script. Yeah, pi pirate the script. You know, don't <laughs> don't don't actually. By the way, I'm lying. Uh, you'll probably get sued for that. But well, the movie's out. At that point, it's just like I don't know. Written the script is written on page. As long as someone just like writes out all the subtitles and you happen to read that, eh, whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's like. Just watch the movies. What I'm saying. Watch the movies. <laughs> Comment demands you watch the movies because you're always, um, <laughs> you're always Scott Pilgriming. <laughs> A frail version of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the memes never stop. I just went on Twitter again, and another another Dr. Mario photo of that's photoshopped your face onto Dr. Mario. And all it says is meme those viruses, ba 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 ba. Oh my gosh! <laughs> God bless TJ and that amazing ba 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 ba. Who who knows how the marathon would have gone if he had no come up with that? <laughs> the funny thing is, I think I was there when he did it the first time too. <laughs> I think it was in uh, fucking ice climber that he did that for the first time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I've been there since the beginning of this fucking. Week. <laughs> TJ, this is all your fault. The, are you saying that about the game, or, <laughs> or about the fact that you've been in Nintendo-a-thon since the beginning? No, the fact that TJ made that uh, <laughs> air horn joke. I've been in since the beginning. God damn it! What happened to my life? How do I life? <laughs> I don't even like Doctor Mario. <laughs> Like People it. in the chat, do you prefer Tetris or do you prefer Dr. Mario? Which is better? Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> well, yeah, Mean Bean Machine's better than all of them, but... <laughs> in a battle between Dr. Mario and Tetris, which do you guys prefer? Because those are like the, 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 you know, the big puzzle signatures. Like, those are the ones that everyone thinks of. They're the big puzzle signatures. Come on, 2015. <laughs> I'm sure that's a phrase. It may as well be now. Oh wow, almost unanimous. I haven't seen one Dr. Mario yet. It's all Tetris. Uh, Lethal! You guys are just outright, like... Do you know how many spirits you've ruined now, chat? <laughs> if you had a fever, Dr. Mario would not cure that. Yeah. Oh, you like Tetris, huh? Well, I like my pills, and I'm gonna hold on to my pills, so uh, get out. Oh shit, I just, I just fucking remembered a Sonic short that had Dr. Mario in it, a secret one. God, fuck. Oh, yeah. And it's creepy as shit, too, which doesn't help the way the stream is gone, so... Oh, <laughs> God, fucking... What is it about Dr. Mario that causes 
people to... Is, is, this, is there some kind of possessed aspect of this game? What am I even playing right now? Like... I have never looked up Dr. Mario Creepypastas. I'm sure they exist. I don't know what they would be about. Dr. Mario uh, maybe... Creepy Castles? <laughs> maybe the viruses come out of the TV screen and then eat people. <laughs> like, oh, if God. you don't get rid of the viruses, they will eat your soul. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure like if I want to imagine get, that. You will get the chills for real if you do not win this game. Oh, God. I really don't want to imagine that. <laughs> at least this is just going to be... At least this run is like Ice Climber, where it's just like, let's see how far I can get. That's been basically a lot of my runs. Because I'm the casual... Again, it's a puzzle game, so there's not much else you want to go with it. Yeah. I'm the casual guy of the stream. Which isn't saying much, because I'm still sucking anyway, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Dr. Mario can't save every patient. Yeah. There's no miracle pill in real life. Nope. I know only the viruses matter. It's getting to the viruses. <laughs> okay, I'll try this level one more time and then skip ahead again and she gets... And to be fair, to Pixel Block, uh, you still gotta like destroy things that are out that are in your way. I mean, you still don't want things stacking up and getting all over the place. I mean, you want to clear out the garbage too. Yeah, you kind of have to. It's, it, it's pretty much an obligation. I don't want it to be an obligation, but it's an obligation. I want the bottle to be empty, not just with viruses, but with pills too. Mm. Clean is better than dirty. And dirty's better than clean, motherfucker. <laughs> That's where they they got the idea of sunshine from, the commercial. Yeah. Yes, I know I'm blocking myself. I did say I suck. <laughs> I don't know how much more clear I have to make this. I've been working for too long. I need a break. <laughs> Where's Nurse Peach? Oh, God. My, she can do this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop Masters, put Dr. Mario in ER. Oh put god. Dr. Mario over George Clooney's face. Oh god. <laughs> if you want, I'm not expecting anything, but that'd be funny. Oh god. They're gonna they they do that too. I hope so. By the way, she... Like, huh? I was just gonna say, it, was Peach ever in the Dr. Mario games, or was that only instruction booklet? Like, I know she's a nurse in, like, one of the instruction, like, concept art stuff, but I don't know if she was actually in the games themselves. Um, I believe she was. I don't recall for sure, but I do think I recall Peach being, like... I, I think Peach was in it. You see, this is where the idea of having to clear garbage helps. Because, unfortunately, I'm kind of blocked here. Pretty badly. Also, I... It's suddenly quiet on Skype. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still here. I was about to say, like, don't... You, you don't uh, I'm me. not leaving you, Donnie. I'll never leave you. Please, please don't leave me. <laughs> I don't want to go solo. Four Eyes White Dragon, Pack Attack is a good puzzle game as well. It has a very catchy theme. I played a lot of puzzle games, but you know, the only one that, that deserves my love is Tetris Attack slash Pokemon Puzzle League slash Pokemon Puzzle Challenge slash Puzzle League Planet slash Panel to Pond. Because it goes by a lot of names and franchises. <laughs> Have... Tetris Attack is hilarious because Tetris Attack is a reskin of Panel to Pawn on the Super Famicom. But Tetris Attack, you'd think from the title and especially the box art, you'd think from the title and the box art, it's just a Tetris game. There's no characters in it whatsoever. But it's actually a Yoshi's Island skin. Like, you play as Yoshi, you go and you face off with, like, Kamek 
and Raphael the Raven and Poochie the Dog and all the, the Yoshi Island characters. Wait, you face off against Poochie? What the hell? Yeah. Because Poochie is brainwashed by uh, Bowser. What in a... Uh... In Tetris Attack. Oh, oh, holy shit. Yeah. God, Bowser, you really want PETA on your ass, don't you? <laughs> like, if there was any puzzle game that should have been played during the Nintendo-a-thon, Tetris Attack has Yoshi in it. I mean, my god. To the person who's asking, who uh, said, uh, thank you for doing this, Tani, uh, no problem. I, I'm not about trying to be good with the games, and I really should make that clear. I'm not trying to be good with the games. I, I mean, I, it does help to progress, of course, but in the long run, I'm just happy to support a good cause and entertain you guys, and that's what matters to me. Yep, this is just a chill stream. We're going to be here for two hours, well, an hour soon. We're about, we're about to end Dr. Mario in 12 minutes, but, uh... <laughs> In this case, I think it might be a good thing, because I'll be saved. <laughs> <laughs> the patients will get the chills and the fevers, but ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Can we donate to make Clement do this instead? I can't stream. I Believe me, if I could stream, I would try doing it and, and, and you know, I would record me playing games more often, but my internet connection's pretty terrible. To the point where I can't even watch what Donnie's doing without the Skype conversation going all crazy on me. Like, if I if I turn on the Twitch stream right now and watch what Donnie's doing, Donnie's going to come in like, and that's not good for anybody. Yeah, oh my god. Note to self. Be prepared for when you skip ahead and cheat some more. Because, uh, oh god. <laughs> It's like a complete wall of fucking viruses now. <laughs> oh my god, it's the great wall of viruses. You can do it, Donnie. Oh my god. This isn't going to end well. I always thought the virus's faces were all wrong. Like, the red one makes sense to me. The red one, he's, he's crazy, his mouth is open, it's like bleh, bleh. But like... The blue one is smiling, the yellow one is sad. Like, he's got the frown face. And I always thought that was wrong, because, like, blue is always a, is always connected with sadness. Yellow is always ex is connected with happiness. The yellow one should have the smiley mouth, the blue one should have the frowny face. I'm saying Dr. Mario screwed it up. They ruined it. <laughs> They've ruined how the viruses should look. They're hacks, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the chat must agree with me, damn it. <laughs> oh god, I see another tweet has been linked in the chat. What do I dare ask what it is? Now let me check. <laughs> that was simple, but thanks. I appreciate it. Cassie Davis has tweeted Dr. Mario's head on top of what I assume is George Clooney's body, but I can't see his head, so it might not be George Clooney. Oh boy. But I appreciate it, Cassie Davis. It, it was fantastic. By the way, thank you to all 300 of you who are watching right now. Uh, and I'd like to apologize as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to apologize for. Well, between me sucking at the game, the awkward start we had where it was just loads of setting up and stuff, like, it's it's been a rough hour or so, so. Eh. What do these people got to do with their lives? Nothing! <laughs> well, they could be spending it donating. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And as always, I will read it out on the stream right now. Speaking of which, are there any new donations? Nah, unfortunately I've refreshed and uh, still the last two that we got. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for a good segue there, but... Uh... No obligation to our viewers, though. We don't want to sound like we're ungrateful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're glad just th that you're just here. We love you. Marry us. 
as far as our, as far as we're concerned, the Nintendo-a-thon has already been a success. It's already, you know, helped so much. Yeah. If only we could donate to fix those viruses' faces. Because they're wrong, damn it, they're wrong. Oh, don't worry, they're, they're doing a great job doing the YMCA right now, so... <laughs> I mean, at least we know that viruses are able to dance as they're trying to infect people. Yeah, at least the sad one's dancing. Yeah, I mean, this explains why the village people got so popular. Because it it's turns... Fun to... It's fun to stay in the fever and chills. Yes, it's time to stay in fever and chills. <laughs> Nintendo thon. Na, 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 na. <laughs> now I'm just picturing Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi in like a cop outfit, a construction worker outfit, oh, an Indian outfit. <laughs> Who would be the Indian? <laughs> Uh, Waluigi. Let's say Waluigi. Oh god. <laughs> Watch you. Memer, memer, man. I've got to be a memer, man. I've got to be a doctor, man. <laughs> me, man, me, man, are you listening to me? Me, man, me, man, what do you want to be? We're giving the chat so many bad ideas. I re we should probably stop that. <laughs> Don't you mean good ideas? <laughs> to them, they're good ideas. <laughs> Is Clement pitching sequel ideas for Mario DDR? Yes! Yes, I am! <laughs> if we can get a sequel to Mario DDR, where they do a YMCA song, then my life has achieved all meaning. <laughs> I mean, I recently I just played Rayman Legends, and Rayman Legends had a platforming level where you have to platform to the song Black Betty. It was amazing! <laughs> Except instead of like it being sung like, Oh, Black Betty, down by down, oh, Black Betty. Instead it's like all these weird like Rayman creature noises, so it's like... But it was so fun. <laughs> That's the thing that should that should be like a new thing. Like instead of guitar hero, it's like platform hero. Where you have to platform to the music. Donnie, I'm currently working on the airhorn remix for the fever theme. Oh god, yes. I'll try oh. to finish it at least by tomorrow. <laughs> and then I'll present it to Gareth as a happy birthday present. <laughs> Even though it's not his birthday, but fuck it. Oh, I love this. Now I'm just getting like more pictures of like ER, but instead of George Clooney and everyone else, it's Dr. Mario, Wario, and Peach. Oh my god. <laughs> I will retweet all of these when the stream's over. Oh my fucking god. Uh, what I, wait, sorry, I'll just do it now. What do I care? This really is Banjo Kazmoogie's pound too. <laughs> we are bringing those dank memes, Donnie. Oh, we are. The dank Clements. Uh, We're not trying to cure fever. We're trying to cure meme. <laughs> but, but I dank rest. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more memes. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of memeing you. <laughs> oh boy. I think I have another game to play after this. I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're the pinball wizard, not the doctor throwing pills in a bottle wizard. Wait, someone else has finished the Airhorn remix. Oh god. And, and speaking of that, Donnie, uh, it is officially 11:12, so I believe that is an hour of gameplay if you're willing to stop now. So, oh, well, uh, I just died. So, yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, that was Dr. Mario. <laughs> hey, you know what? Before before we stop, I'll show off level 20. Okay. Let's see how long you last in level 20. Um, oh god. Low, holy, medium, or high? <laughs> holy, holy fuck. Um, is it a bit much? The big wall? Um. Is it a bit much? Um. <laughs> um. 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 I think, it, I think that sounds like it's a good thing. Um, it sounds like things are going well. Um. um I think you're fine. Um. Um. <laughs> 
Well, the world is screwed, guys. Thank you for watching Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone got a fever. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, for those who are watching the stream live right now, I will be back momentarily uh, for Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. I'm going to do some setting up for that. Um, <laughs> but, um... I and I'll be there too, and it'll be yep. glorious. Yep. For the for the people who are watching on YouTube, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> of course, you regret nothing. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> uh, I regret nothing, and I see everything. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will see you all in the stream in a bit. For the people on YouTube, bye for now. Toodles.